everyone. So today we are looking at lead code number 49. It's called group anagrams. This is a very frequently asked question out in the interview wilderness, so to say. Um, you can see here that it was asked 22 times at Amazon, Goldman Sachs, Apple, Microsoft. It seems like all the companies love asking this question. And it is a little bit tricky, uh, but we'll go through it step by step. Okay, so we are given an array of strings. Group the anagrams together. You can return the answer in any order. An anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters in a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. Okay, so here we have eat, and the anagram for eat is T and eight. Okay, and then here we have an array that has all three of those words in there. Um, and then here we have tan, and we have nat, and we have both of those pushed into an array. And then we have a bat, which has no, no nothing else as an anagram of bat. So this is this is a, a an interesting problem because it's very easy to understand what it's asking, but it can be tricky in terms of how you how you go about implementing it. So how do you get an anagram? Um, well, one way you could do it is you could sort the words, right? Like you could sort alphabetically eat and then uh, T, and then you can just check for equality and then push those in there. But that's that can get pretty hairy because when you start going down that path, you can see that if you pull this word out and then you go to the next iteration, you have to keep track of the indices. It can be uh, uh, a bit tricky. Now another approach to find anagrams is hashing. And that's another way you can you can find um, anagrams is if you hash two words and you have the frequency count of the characters. If the frequency counts equal, then you have an anagram. So what if we did a little bit of both? What if we hashed it and we sorted it, right? So let's say we went ahead and created a second array here and we sorted all the words inside of this array. Okay, so we'll go over here uh, to the conceptual. We have eat, t, tan, eight, nat, and bat. Okay, so here we have uh, eat, uh, t, let's see here, we have tan, eight, nat, bat. Tan, eight, nat, and bat, right? Now what if we went ahead and created, uh, just ran a n log n operation on each one of these, so it's gonna be n times n log n, and we're gonna go through and we're gonna sort all these, all these elements in this array here, okay? So eat will turn into eight, or no, it'll be a, e, t, okay? T will also be a, e, t. Tan will be a n t, be ant. Uh, eight will also be a e t. Nat will be a n t, and bat will be b. Or I'm sorry, a b t. Right. So now we have a uh, a second array that's sorted all the all the care all the words inside of that input array. Okay, so now what if we create a hash, right? We have a hash where the key can be uh, our sorted words. So here we have our indices 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Also set these indices here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and iterate over our input array. So let me change the color here changes to green. So here our ith index will be here. We're looking at the word eat and aet. And in our hash, right, we can have a hash here. And we can check if aet is is in the uh, in the hash. And no, it's not. If it's not in the hash, okay? So if if aet hash with the key aet is not in that hash, then what we can do is just set the value of this hash to be um, whatever's in the ith index of our input array. So we can just put eat here. 
Okay. Now we move this I over here and we see again we have AET. Check our hash. AET is in there. Then we just go ahead and push whatever's in the words array, the ith element, into, into our value here. Push it into that array. So here we just go ahead and push in T. Right? Again, we move I. Here we have tan. Here we have another another uh, element in our hash. It's not AET, but it's going to be uh, T-A-N or A-N-T. So we have our hash here. And it's going, the key is going to be A-N-T. And again, this is the same hash. It's, it's just a different key. And again, we don't have A-N-T in there. So we're going to set the array and we're going to just put in the value of whatever's in I. We're just going to put in tan here. Right? We're going to move I again. We have A-E-T. Right? Or no, A-E-T. Yeah, A-E-T, which, which was our eat array. And again, we go ahead and push this into uh, our, our hash over here. So A-T-E. Eight. Right? Again, we move I. Nat is A-N-T, A-N-T. We do have that key in the hash, so we just go ahead and push Nat right in there. We move I over here to bat. Bat is not, not in the uh, hash, so here we're going to check again our hash at key A-B-T, and we're just going to set that to an array with B-A-T, right? So once we get all these all these values here, then all we have to do is just go ahead and return uh, object.values. We just return the values in, in the hash, and that's going to be our answer. It's going to be eat, t, eight, tan, nat, bat, right? So that's how we solve this conceptually. Uh, let's go ahead and code this up. Okay. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move over here to loot grub. And so what do we want to do? We want to create a sorted array. So we can say uh, const sorted strs. And then here what we can do is strs.map each word. OK, and then we're just going to sort the, each word uh, alphabetically. So the way we do that is we want to split, sort, and join. So we can do word dot split dot sort dot join, and that's just going to go ahead and go into every single one of those words in that array. It's going to split it into an array and then sort it and then join it back into a string and create a new array, which is going to be set to sorted strings. And then we want a result. Actually, we don't even need a result. We can just return object dot values. We can we need a hash. We'll set the hash to an empty object. Okay. So now, what do we want to do? We want to iterate over our strings. So for let i equals zero, i is less than strs dot length, i plus plus. Okay. And now we want to check: uh, does the hash, if the hash does not have uh, our sorted stirs at i. what do we want to do? We want to set the hash at that key to an empty array with our strings at index i. Okay, else we just want to push uh, strings at index i into the current um, array that we have set at sorted strings hash. At i is going, we're just going to push at index i, right? And once we do that, we just return the values of the ob of the hash. So we can just do return object dot values of hash. Okay, and that's it. That's all we have to do for this. Um, Go ahead and run that. Yeah. And that works. And so if we look at our time, uh, time and space complexity, let's think about this. Because we are having to 
because we're going to have to go through every single word in the array, which is going to be uh, O of n. So if we look here, we have to we have to sort this. To sort this here, we're going to have to go through every single one of these words in the array, and then we're going to have to sort it. Sorting is an n log n operation, and then we're going to have to do that n times. Okay, so our time, worst case, just just doing that sorting operation is going to be um, O of n times n log n is going to be our time. Okay, and then what's our space going to be? Well, our space we're just creating a result array that is linear to the input. Okay, so our space is just going to be O of n. Okay, and so that is lead code number 49, group anagrams. Very, very frequently asked, so highly suggest to, uh, to be familiar with this. Uh, if you do it uh, the brute force way, it can get very confusing because there's a lot of indices that you have to keep track of. So, you know, when, when you do come across this problem out in the wild, just remember hash. Remember how to combine sorting and hash, and that's a, that's a good way to approach this problem. Okay, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.